Hello there, my friends. I'm Mr. Mokulover, as you probably know, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich, in which we talk about the Great War 40 years on. It was 40 years ago today that the Great War between 1914 and 18 began. Still by far the war that claimed the lives of the most British soldiers and civilians so far the World War. May have been overshadowed by more recent events around the world that are grander in scale, but it remains strongly relevant in the minds of the British people. <clears throat> Four decades has given people time to reflect at many points to the war as the beginning, the spark that lit the fire of the 20th century and turned it into an era of darkness, spawning continuous war, misery, and ultimately the rise of N-word Germany. Still others point to the war and insist that Britain is down but not out. We beat the Germans once, and though this time they may have been gripped by an insane ideology and have enslaved Europe, we will be back and we'll win again if we so choose to do so. In these trying times, optimism can be hard to come by. Where all went wrong, and as some would say, we live in a period. But nonetheless, we do have another focus to do, in which we need to talk about our destiny in a little bit. But we have finished off the TV address, of course, and we finished off Expand Burns Infrastructure, as well as Expand the Northern Infrastructure, in which now we're going to expand the Southern Infrastructure. The South of England has never been a particularly robust center of British industry, but there's no reason for that state of affairs to continue. We just have to resources to expand the South's industrial capacity. Now, um, I, we got a couple comments to go through. Let's see. Someone said Sarawak is OP. Yeah. I, in my opinion, I think you're just destined to lose him anyway, so I should have taken the other route saying, hey, oh well, see you around, I guess. So that kind of sucks that we couldn't win. I, I tried it twice, obviously, but like, maybe, maybe you guys can win, but I don't think it'd be possible for us. But hey, socialist Indians? All right, very social democratic up there as well. And as you can see, the Toronto Accords, of course, not with us. They're doing quite well against the Germans, no matter what happens. Uh, the Schutzstaffe isn't not doing all right, very well. Oh, there goes Denmark. Oh, and Germany people did spawn too. And I forgot they actually have a unique focus tree. You know what? I don't know how many likes I got in the last video, but if you give me like 150 likes, I will do People's Germany since we do have it here already. Like 150 likes, and I'll do this video. I'll do a, I'll make like a campaign over it. People's Deutschland, which will go several different ways, but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> we'll talk about this stuff later on. We'll do that stuff later. Uh, we don't have to, but it'd be kind of nice to do so. Factory output, British rail expansion. We love railing. 5% more factory output, and nothing. Hmm. British rail expansion. The island of Great Britain has been connected by rails for almost 100 years now, but there is much room for growth in this brave new age. It is in our interest to increase the capacity of British rail. Oh, we have a Madagascar problem too. Oh boy. Propaganda... War propaganda against the United States of America, which we might want to do. Uh, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. The fate of Madagascar. What are we going to do? Since the collapse of the pots of the French colonial empire in the mid early mid-40s. The... Oh, look at that. The former French colony or island of Madagascar off the coast of East Africa has been under our occupation. While safeguarding it from the Axis powers, our presence on the large island has not been cheap, with much material and capital being constantly needed to maintain it. As a result, many are calling for withdrawal from the island, saying that there is little threat of an Axis resurgence towards it, and granting of the country's independence how should proceed. It seems like it's going to hurt us and bite us in the butt, because they'll probably ask for us again in the future. But, decolonization, what? Oh, what? Why would we do that? Let's see. I think I changed one of these guys, too. We got a lot of political power, but he's a corrupt kleptocrat. This guy hurts the consumer goods. I did change around one of these guys. It might have been Wesley here. I think it was, just because I wanted to make sure... Oh, no, it was this guy. We lose political power. This guy... I, uh, we had someone else here first, instead of him. I think it was... Yeah, we had Havelock, which we got more political power, but hurts our consumer goods. I went with this guy, because even though it hurts our PP, we get more... Uh, Civilian factory construction speed, which I care about more, and we can actually build stuff without the 7% consumer goods, which would be very unbueno, so not very good. Regardless, um, someone asked, is there an Imperial Federation route? I don't think there is. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know the UK that well, but I know... Okay, so, spoiler alert. If we went down the rally, we would have gotten cooed by the Queen, in which we would have went, like, Labour or Conservative. So, end the emergency, arrange new elections, we wouldn't... Could have went down that way, but I don't think that we have an Imperial um, Federation route, which kind of kind of sucks. But then again, I could be wrong. I don't know that the Thousand Week Reich that well. But up next, we're going to do is the post-colonial foreign policy. Now that we've effectively lost our empire, a policy regarding our relations with our former colonies must be constructed promptly. The sun may have set, but that's no reason to go to bed. No, no, no. We're going to stay up all night and recolonize, hopefully. Well, if possible. If possible. After construction, the Asian proletarian front. Interesting. 3-2, huh? Hammer and sickle time, huh? Alright then, well, whatever. Good luck with that. Uh, what else do we have down here? It's a little bit ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time. Can we ex 
do something else instead. Maybe not. And Chen Lifu assumes office. A new era for China. Well, good luck with that, guys. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. And if we have to go to war, make sure our ships don't actually sink in the water too much, too quickly. We'll probably do that one, honestly. Anything else down here? No. I'd like to pay off our debts as well. Because eh, That's not too bad. We're already on war economy, which is actually very nice as well. Rudimentary compartments. Eh, get some APC stuff. I don't mind that. And Crescent Yards is gone. Oh, yeah. Yes. I don't know. Whenever I play Mose again, I think I have a special idea of what I'm going to do with his videos. At least one time during each campaign. Not this campaign, probably, because I don't have enough time to do so. But I think I might do something special. But let's see... So, someone also said, when they played Mosley, they did all the reforms over here. They did all of them. But as long as you don't do the rally, it was still okay. So, that's interesting. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have experimented a little bit more. But by the time I'm making this video, it's already 9.30 at night. So, my apologies. And I still need to process it. So, my apologies. I I just run out of time. There's just never enough time. There's a lot of red here. This is a lot of red. The Moscow Red Army, the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, United Soviets. I, these guys look kind of nice, though. Who's in the Baltic Confederation? The Baltic Council. I shouldn't have asked. Uh, politics, diplomacy, there's nothing really over there. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's not a lot for us to do. I mean, we would normally be involved here. The Benelux is doing kind of crazy stuff, but whatever. And I think they, these guys are going to capitulate soon, right? No guys. No guys. Elect the president. Well, I don't think they're anarchists. But this one. Ah, the post-colonial foreign policy. Followed up with what? The Indian subcontinent. The current state of India, the former jewel of our empire, presents an opportunity. We still made some influence through the princely states and Ceylon, and could attempt to intensify it. However, we could work against or work with Delhi rather than against it. If we can't have them, then they're going to kill each other. By God, that is the only way forward, right? So while we could do recognize the republic's claims, oh maybe we'll do that one, support Delhi, or we'll keep India divided. I like that idea. If you don't want to be with us, then we don't want you. Or we'll, we'll make you have a bad time. The current state of India. The full module of empire presents an opportunity. Ah, oh, I love it. Work with or work against. We must have them. Oh, can we not do this one? We need naval development. Okay, super heavy battleship pulse. Why not? Because we deserve it. Kind of sucks that we can't keep going. Well, I mean, technically we could have got joined the war and then done stuff, but whatever. It's all right. The, uh, I guess, oh, there's no faction there. So how does this, oh, uh, oh well, see, I guess we'll see what happens. The Oldenstadt took some states. Um, that's really ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Post-colonial foreign policy. The Indian subcontinent. What is Mosley gonna do to make sure that we do well? A call to arms. We will see. Oh boy. Well, we'll see. Once the SS is beaten and the emerging device shop. What is what is Italy doing now? Did Italy has a unique focus tree? Oh, uh, they live by Benito. Oh yeah, they do. Have I played as Italy yet? I don't remember. Probably not, honestly. I probably haven't played Italy. I don't like playing Italy that much. I don't know. It's just Italy is well, they're Italian, so it's not as bad as Ohio. Just saying. Sorry if you're from Ohio, but it is what it is. Cool. Romania is so thick. I gotta play as Romania sometime. I really do. There's so many nations I need to trial in Thousand Week, right? It's, it feels like there's not a lot of nations that have a lot of content, but it's not too bad. Like there's definitely quite a few nations that I do need a need to place through sometime. This no, it doesn't look like you do. Turkey doesn't. Georgia, with Kota? No, I have played as both Russians, but I'm waiting for to get update. Ah, and there goes the shoot stuffle. Sayonara, shoot stuffle. Which I, they probably don't. They probably didn't say that too much. But the Indian subcontinent. Once upon a time, India was a jewel and of the crown of the British Empire. Under the Raj, the subcontinent was ruled under a patchwork of princely states and British colonial governments. However, with the disaster of 1940 and subsequent lackluster performance against Japan in the early parts of the Pacific War, Britain's imperial prestige was dealt a solid blow. It was only inevitable, then, what that Britain's largest colonial possession would soon after the war break free, parts of its army mutinying, mutineering, and its peoples resisting both peacefully and violently. Britain was forced to rapidly withdraw from a collapsing India, quickly signing deals with the Delhi government of the Indian Republic and with Pakistan. Yet, though Delhi claims ownership across most of the subcontinent, to this day, the collapse of the British rule leaves scars in the form of division and breakaway states still fighting for control as we go forward in this new post-colonial age. We must continue to assert ourselves in the loss of continent. Should we support the Delhi government and help work towards a unified subcontinent with good relations, or is a united India a potential threat to our interests, and something we should seek to avoid? One way or another, we will continue to influence India. Um, we could do that, but new railways. Now that the British Rail has completed its general expansion, we should look into constructing new railways in place which haven't had them before. This can help us connect our nation and our economy. We could talk about India, but what about the roads? And the guns. Ah, soft attack. Seriously, is it, is it not over yet? 
I guess the Veil Shot needs to go bye bye. Monstein or, or Oldbrecht, your time is up. You have lost the war. Wow, monthly population minus 85%. Um, wow, that kind of shocks, man. Not gonna lie. National Works is gone. Deep defenses. Ah, we like them deep. Traditional, traditional crisis. The NSDAP is sidelined by the military, but with the war dragging on, the military's leadership is challenged by the remaining members. Wow, that kind of suck arena's free, man. Um, the skies of Deutschland. Emergency army of a gun. Goodbye. Human waves. Well, that kind of sucks, probably. Good more attack, though. The German People's Republic. A radical change for... Is this a... Is this the peace deal? Wow. Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks... The restoration of Czech exiles. Czechs are back. That's actually kind of cool. So this government restored. Oh, that's cool. Oh, why'd you give up all the territory to the Germans? Ah! Ah! You're just gonna cause World War II, then. Or World War III. But... Independence for Ghana. Ghana, formerly known as the uh, colony of the Golden Coast, shall become the first of the br former British colonies in Africa to gain independence and self-determination. Oh, crap. Am I supposed to pay attention to that? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. You know what? Berlin replaced the Germania. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So, apparently, we didn't get an option at all. We have to release them. <sighs> I don't like this not having a choice. I like having choices. If I have to put down violent rebellions very violently, then please give me that choice. Please. And Strasse returns to Germany. Otto, hello. And, okay, so I basically reloaded the save. That haven't given their other territory back. Okay. Oh, Strasse. What happens if, you know, these guys, the Germans... I hope this is not... The peace deal is not over yet again. What happens if, uh... In, in moral warfare... If Germany beats the Americans when doing that? I would really like to know. But I guess... Actually, huh. Keep it any divided. A united India would be a threat to our presence on the global stage. We must suppress their power at all costs by exerting our influence through Ceylon and princely states. We can do just that. All right, Germany, or I guess America, give the Czechs back their territory so that they can kill the Slovaks. Because actually, the Slovaks, Tizo hasn't lost anybody yet. Oh, okay. You just signed a peace with the Greeks. Okay, seriously, is this a, is this a final peace deal? Like, do you still want French Comte, America? My bad about doing the whole reloading thing, but, like, I thought we might be able to save it, but it is not for this world. The Mediterranean Union? Interesting. A super heavy battleship hole? I think that's exactly what America could use in our world today. A super heavy battleship hole. Why, why is America not giving their stuff back? Who is down here? Oh, the Greek Democratic Republic. Or, or whatever they call themselves. Oh, Denmark's back, though. Look at that. Denmark. Danish occupation zone. Paternal autocrats. Hey, the vaccines! Yeah, that's unremarkable industry. Well, it's Denmark. We love the Danes here. If only the country actually realistically existed. I don't know. It sounds like I'm just trying to piss off everyone. Um, yeah, there's not really much going on here. Maybe I should have loaded the save. What? Can you guys give your territory back, please? Keep India divided and support the princely states. The princely states in the south of India are the last outpost of British influence on the subcontinent. By backing them in the war against the Republic, we can maintain our basis of power. There's not a lot of influence here, actually. Oh, look, we're still down here, too. Look at that. All right, well, maybe they'll give up their territory. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, well, that's probably not going to go well for you, Novosibirsk. Probably not going to go that well for you, but good luck. Good luck. And independence for Ceylon? I don't know about that. I prefer talking about attracting domestic investments. Very few ventures can be realized if we do not have the necessary capital to support them. We must seek to gather investments from sources with, from within our, in our country in order to ensure that the National Works program is successful. And i got to keep an eye on this if, if, if people want independence. Germany. Where is my Germany? Why are you down here still? <laughs> um, yeah, this is very weird. It's already May. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe i got to reload this or something because this is not very good. Um, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like these guys and all, but nothing's happening. I might have to reload this, but then again, it doesn't really matter too much. As long as these people exist, that's all that matters for now. So, anything else? Yes, drop things are good. Berlin, or Germania? Which way are they going, actually? The proletariat constitution, okay. Oh, okay, so Jimmy surrenders. Well, the end of a dark era. Well, okay, well, now they officially surrendered, I guess. Which was the proletariat's constitution? The Germany needs guidance versus Germany needs democracy. Wow, that's a lot of consumer goods. That's really bad. Anything else over here? No, that's for 60. 
Over here, we've got everything else. Well, let me get everything else yet. Widespread motorization. Air. That's not too bad. Land. You do get more soft attack. I like... Oh, I got... We got to get more organization. I love organization. But after attracting domestic investments, we need to restore investor confidence. Which would probably be pretty good. Because I do want to get to this one. Further economic downturn and further economic recovery. Because that stuff would be probably pretty good. Imperial... And, oh, that's really bad too. Wow, that sucks. Um, high national debt's very bad. It's actually not terrible. It could be a lot better, but... Uh, what else we have? Commonwealth of Nations. Uh, even though I think Canada last time left us, which kind of sucks. Britain Awake. Yes, yes, yes. Upper Assembly. Fanatic German Defense, which hopefully will be removed someday. Um, and Economic... Eh, that's still not terrible. It could be a lot worse, but... Malaya asked to be granted Saba. Several high-caliber investors are not entirely keen on providing capital for the National Works Program. We must assure them that they will not see a loss on their investments if they choose to go along with us. Malaya asked to be granted Saba. No, no. Our former colony Malaya has asked us to transfer the territory of Saba over to the rule. Although the Saba colony provides us with a strategic chokehold in the South China Sea, it much like the rest of our empire is beginning to weigh us down. It might be logistically intelligent to relinquish our claim over the colony and it appeases the decolonization advocates in the home isles. Saba is theirs over your dead body. I'm not touching it. Nope. Darn it. Before we fade in, fade out, they actually... Uh, this is why America didn't release them yet. They knew, the Americans knew, to kill off any fascist movement in Europe, that they had to not give Germany independence. The 1955 Hong Kong riots. After the Chinese Civil War, a large amount of pro-communist farmers and workers fled China and settled down Hong Kong. These people are staunch supporters of communism, and they escaped to Hong Kong due to their fear of being persecuted by their nationalist regime. The colonial government of Hong Kong was forced to accept these refugees due to humanitarian concerns, but it caused the formation of various pro-communist communities... Uh, com com Committees. Communities throughout Hong Kong. On the 23rd of July, the day in which the CCP formed thousands of commie supporters took part in an annual event performed by commie residents. But this time, the demonstration espionage a conflict between the nationalists and the commies. Kowloon was put in a curfew and the military was summoned to assist local police forces in putting down the riots. 75 civilians died from the violent riots. This is a thousand more civilians and law enforcers were injured in what could be described as a three-faction conflict between the nationalists, the commies, and the colonial government. The Republic of China has issued a warning to the Hong Kong government demanding the communist unrest must be suppressed as soon as possible in order to protect the local population. Those gosh darn lefties. Um, can I take half you guys? Because I want to put half you guys here. I don't trust Iraqis. We might have to invade later on for your oil, but you know what? For now, we're going to defend our property. And by our property, I mean your lands. But it's really our lands because we took you over. So, it's okay. We do it out of love. We do everything out of love. And the prosperity of everyone else. Martin years, yes. We love. We game. We feel good. I mean, we could spend PP here, but is there really any point to? I mean, is there anything for sorties here? I love sorties. And ooh, that's air superior. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a tedder. I thought his name was gonna be Teddy. Ground support's pretty nice though. Wait, are you? You're exactly the same. Arthur or William Dixon? Do we like Dixon or do we like Tedder? I don't know. William or Arthur? I don't know that many Arthurs. I'm gonna go with Arthur for now. Sorry, no Dixon tonight. That sounds really weird when you say it out like that. Mm. But restore investor confidence. Do we do housing for a nation? Or centralized economic planning? Um, this one says it doesn't give us anything. Uh, he, Blitz, has left countless Britons without any sort of housing or shelter. We cannot let these people suffer in destitution, and a new housing con construction program will provide a bountiful work for many of our countries unemployed. I like the work for the people, but centralized economic planning might be good. If we're to build and recover from the war, all the economic engines of the Isle should be in lockstep with each other. All national economic plans should originate from what London and Westminster. I don't know, man. Ah, but it's unemployed. I mean, we live in a period, you know, where there's way too many unemployed and the politicians don't really care for the common man. I don't know. I think we might want to get some work, employment for the common man. Wait, what just happened here? Who's killing each other? I wasn't paying attention. I'm just pressing buttons here. Oh, it's just the Iraqis and the Iranians. Okay, we don't care. <laughs> we don't like each other, though. Mohammed? Oh, the Pahlavi. Oh. Oh, but they're fascists, too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, these guys are fascists. Kasim? Hmm. Which group do we really want to support? I'm not really sure. Then again, you, you attack us. I'm going to blow a hole through your head with these tank shells. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, Mosley, you're getting old. Oh. And invest in your future, my friends. Britain is the safest and longest-lasting investment we have. 
we must ensure that the growth provided by this National Works program lasts long into the future. Yes, for the future. We are trying to leave here for my friends, our sons and daughters. We leave them a better Britain than the one we were given. We leave it better than how we found it. Especially by researching drop tanks which we can pour on our enemies. Or, you know, bomb our enemies from further away. <sighs> yes. Actually, how are these Indian states? You are a chunky dude, my man. You a JW. Jachalyamarajendra. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, like, Indian or culturally Indian at all. Like, Wadiyar. Um, I look pretty cool. Mir Osam Ali Khan. Until he come over here and says, Jaya Chama Armara Jendra. J C M J D. Sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of any culture. It's just, it just, it's just weird. It's just weird to me, man. It's just weird to me. Another guy's named Os Osman. Oh, the Iraqis are pushing in. The Iraqi Iran war is going. I, I don't know that from the 90s. Oh, they're trying to escape. I think it was the 1990s where they actually did have their Iraqi Iran war, and a lot of people died, and I don't think anyone really won. So, it looks like the Iraqis are doing quite well. Do they even need focus tree? Uh, yes they do. Iraqi campaign in the Thousand Week Reich when? I almost forgot. I already asked you guys for the the likes to make to do people's Germany. Uh, if you want to about the death of Winston Churchill, please go right ahead. Rest in peace. Ah, 11 is not too bad. I mean, I'm glad we're on war economy, but still. Uh, it's improved working conditions. We need more stability. 28% is just not good enough. And invest in our future. So after we invest in our future... Oh, mass arrest of ACO members in Cyprus. Having been declared illegal due to its actions in anti-British rhetoric, ACO, the separate communist party, is now at 135 of its members arrested by our local police. They have long been a nuisance to our government over the island, and this clear sweep of their numbers will alleviate some of the weight on our necks. The recent arrests have not been without issue, although with protests slowly popping up around the island, our police forces have been keeping the protests under control for what now. But it seems... We're walking a fine line. I'm not touching that. Workshop of the world. Through a great deal of struggle and effort, we have taken back our rightful position as one of the world's primary workshops. The factories have been opened again under Mosley. The people have been put back to work. And it appears as though Britain's economic future is as bright as it can be. Oh, yes, please. You know, I don't I don't trust what could happen here. So, um, you guys hang out. Y'all, have a good time over there. Party it up until things get really bad and we'll be okay together. You, me, and a whole lot of enjoying time, war crimes, but they're only crimes if you get caught. Always remember that. Always remember. It's only illegal if you get caught, so don't get caught. I'm not saying by what, but say la vie. That is disgusting. Iraq, why did you peace out? Why did you peace out with that? You take either all of it or none of it. The border gore is too awful. That's why we go to war with other people. We don't enjoy killing other people or anything like that. We do this because of map painting, and this is disgusting. You went all the way. Ah, I knew that would happen. We, you went all the way to Tehran, and you're like, nah, I want Kuzistan. I want Kurdistan. I don't want Tabriz. I don't want Tehran. Bruh. All right, we got to teach these boys lesson in how to map paint. Let's go. Actually, you can go ahead and help them out to here. So, anti-colonial protests in Cyprus. Mass anti-colonial and anti-British protests have been going on in a colony in Cyprus, fueled by the many years of colonial subjugation and the recent arrests carried out by the police. The people of Cyprus have been demanding that Britain leave the island immediately. United under the separate banner, the ECOL, the Church, and the EOKA have been rallying for an independent Cyprus for many years now, but with little results thanks to our control over the island. But now the situation has become critical and we must act now or face a potential revolt. Oh, I don't remember the, the, which way I went last time, but I found sounds like putting them down sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Gotta keep it on how many days we have left before I choose anything here. Uh, do we actually have planes here? Oh, they have planes. We don't. Yeah, well, these guys are getting over there hopefully soon. Um, I'm gonna call all of you guys in here too. How strong are these guys actually? We lost 233. We they okay six divisions. That's pretty good actually. That's pretty nice. That is muy bueno. Five days left. Four days, tres days, zwei days, no days. Put down the protests violently and do it with an extreme amount of discrimination. If you're not discriminating when you're shooting them, are you really 
putting him down, but armed riots break out in Leucosia. Despite the efforts in, of our police force, the protests have now turned into violent riots, with gunfights becoming a common occurrence. Militia of the two groups have been fighting our soldiers and officers through the streets, and losses on both sides have been rising. We understand so, but the situation turns more and more grim with each every moment. Now all we can do is continue fighting until the final moment. It seems the line's been crossed. Bring it on! You want independence? We, You will have independence when we give it to you. And you will like it that way. Here, mm -hmm. do that one. We're not going to use it at all, but whatever. You find them, you smack them, you give them a little love. We're doing this for the betterment of humanity, my friends. Uh, anything else here? I need just this one. Armed riots. Ah. To the brink of war, Lucosia has now turned into a war zone. Constant fighting has been common, and the separate militias have been amassing more and more as time goes on. The situation has grown critical, and our forces and separatists have been pushed more and more to the limits. The separate flag has been flying over the capital of Lucosia for a few days now, and our grasp of the island seems like a thin line ready to be beach by a single breath. It is now our final option between peace and war for the Empire for peace. Let the separatists go. Let someone not set over Cyprus to retake them again. Down with the British chains. Release them. Oh, we, oh, we play as them, okay. Um, honestly, we're probably gonna need you guys back here. Uh, you guys... I'm gonna tell you guys to get over here first. Cool. And then, I'm gonna take... We actually might need armor to help invade, actually, this place. There you go. And then, one, two... I remember doing this before. I don't think I was actually successful my first time through this. We'll see. Can I... Oh, no. There you go. Now we can do it. Can you not go? We will make a good decision. I want to finish the Iraqis as fast as possible first, though. No wonder you're not winning. You're not going. We're going straight to Baghdad, you son of a gun. Ain't nobody gonna stop us. Alright, so can you guys actually go? What happened to our divisions up there? Um, I might have to replay this off screen, maybe we'll see what happens. Get the using airport up there. And make sure we got our planes and uh, no, our ship is around here too. There you go. That's pretty much all we need right there. Um there you go. We don't have time to waste right now. And they left, as they should. Keep going, keep going. Force the attack. Economic prosperity. The effects of the war. Declining empire and is uh, isolation from the European economy is taking their toll on the British economy. As finances ran out and trade dried up, Britain has entered a long period of economic stagnation, not only holding the country back, but making life difficult for the British people, already worried about the enemy across the channel. Now, with hard work, new economic policy, and a bit of luck, the engine of the British economy is spurred back to life, increasing economic output and in turn allowing a period of prosperity for the people. There is no doubt Britain is not the economic juggernaut that it once was on the world stage, but certainly its engine, or its economy, has regained its potential. Britain is back. And improved Royal Armour Divisions. The Royal Armour Regiment has always been the service dedicated to operating tanks and armored vehicles. If we continue to expand this regiment, we will quickly see mechanization of our forces. Very good. You find them. You kill them. Baghdad is ours. Go straight for Mosul. Go straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. I don't think you guys can win immediately, but we'll try it. Mass production is nice. Anything here? No? No? Okay. Anything there? Probably not either. Probably not. There you go. You can do that one because you can. Are we going in? Are we going in? Please go in. Please go in. Please don't die. Please don't die. Well, we're going that side. That's... Okay, they're dead. No, don't go in there. Uh, I might have to redo this off screen. Yeah. Unfortunate. But that's why we deployed a lot of the guys here. And do we have an air... Oh, yes, we do. That's good. Oh, we're going to need so much more fuel. So much more fuel to do this. Alright, let's grab a little bit more fuel. There you go. Oh, the Gazi Rock. Good, 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 good. That's what they deserve. Nothing.
I'll pay off the debt? Sure. By paying off the first large installment of our national debt, we can begin to reduce our total debt overall. Not bad. Return Iranian... Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, oh, wait. We lost civvies? Return Iranian Kurdistan. The fate of Iraq. We've occupied the territory of Iraq. Now we can create a public state on a territory and expand our influence. Why would I give this area back to these guys? They lost it. Why do we care about them having it? That is my question. Syrian national government. Um, here, I hear Africa's a fun place. How about you guys hang, hang out down there? Are the planes good to go? Are they actually doing stuff here? Are they actually doing stuff? It looks like they are. That's good. We don't need more fuel. Actually, we don't need that many ships operating here. So, you guys are where? You guys are over here? Yeah, don't do that. Go home. Are you guys operating over here? Or no? No, you're not. Go home. Why are you guys operating here? I don't understand that. Special forces are nice. Ah, that's all the fuel that we got. How have you not reached the position yet? My god. Um, You can try it again. Just don't lose all your divisions, for the love of god, please. Please. Force the attack. You killed off an, an entire division, we kill every single last separate off. I guess I have to replay this then. Cool. As it should be. Oda and Cyprus once more. The streets are now washed in blood and gunpowders. Walls are riddled with holes and windows, but are but a past memory. Bodies of soldiers and militiamen are piled up on top of each other. A bloody battle, a costly war, but is now over. The British Empire has come on top once more over its unruly subject and has managed to hold on to its colonies. Let this be a lesson to the Cyprus and to all those who oppose us. We will never surrender. Kill every single last one of them there. They chose to kill and defeat us? One battle? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why would I give this to losers of the war? I mean, yeah, it's resistance and such, but we can afford this resistance, can we not? I don't know. It's our conquest, so I'm feeling pretty good about keeping it. How about... Uh, okay, so now for this. Actually, for you guys, go home. I don't know why you're doing this over here. Cool. And get some more fuel. And you know what? Screw the fuel. Screw it off, America. Jeez. Hurting our feelings like that. Oh. FG support. Would it be too bad? Land auction would be nice as well. The lessons of Dunkirk. Eventually, maybe. But, independence for Ceylon? Ha! Ha! Our destiny. The greatest achievement of our country in the past 400 years has been his vast and powerful empire, but the New Age has presented it with some challenges. Should we commit to the empire, using our colonies as basis of power, or should we sever them from us? Good question to ask. Support equipment? Ah, uh, that's true. Um... There you go. Um, honestly, does this hurt? Suppression? No, it doesn't. Get rid of the artillery. We don't need that for suppression either. And can we actually replace this with military police? That actually would be better to do. Yeah, that's not too bad. Do that. That would be better. Not great, but better. We need more main battle tanks, which is fine, whatever. Um, anything else we can do? Promises of peace? No, 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 no. Aerial refueling? We could do that. Some heavy artillery, very good. Our destiny. And as much as I think I did this last time, we're gonna have to, we have to go with it. Sun never sets. But let's go ahead and get this one artillery brush finished. So this way we can go to tactical explosion explosion. Explosion with a T, alright. With the coordination of a tank and infantry attack, we can achieve a force multiplier when attacking. More organization? Yes, please. Alright. Our destiny. The sun never sets. It is said that the British Empire is so vast, the sun never sets on it. Its strength is the Royal Navy, securing the trade and supply routes are connected and are so vital to our prosperity. This Navy must learn to traverse these enormous distances with all due haste so that we may react swiftly to any threat anywhere, which we did in Iraq, we did in Cyprus. Cut off from each other by a literal continent. Or well, at least it's just Middle East. Wait, hey, not too bad. We have enough fuel for now? You know what? We have enough fuel for now that we're going to train some boys. And don't we love boys? Yeah, let's not go there. Yeah, how about we don't love boys? Yeah, let's not do that. The question of the Empire. Of the British Empire. It was once the mightiest force in the world, but now many suspect its days are numbered. Ideas of self-determination, of home rule, and of national revival have swept across the globe in recent times, only spurred on by the UK's faltering economy, the loss of prestige that Britain endured at Dunkirk, and the embarrassment or embarrassing retreat from India. 
As independence movements gather steam and threaten to turn increasingly violent across the colonies, a larger and larger pro pro proportional of the British people and politicians are calling for a process of decolonization, the end of the empire, and the setting up of newly independent states across Asia and Africa. However, some still insist that although the imperial system needs to reform, it makes it not only more effective but more just to its subjects. The empire must be maintained at all costs to keep Britain's place in the world and hold firm against the, well, former Nazi threat. Warning, the choice here will have a significant impact on events later in the game. No more retreat, maintain the empire. Maintain the empire. Commit to an empire. The colony do not maintain themselves if we want to make them part of our global geopolitical strategy. We have to provide them with resources and announce to the world that the British Empire is here to stay rule Britannia. This might come back and bite us in the large tuchus. But you know what? If we die, so be it. Honestly, at the end of this, I don't know if there's a way to give all this territory back to the Germans and the whoever. But I might actually just go ahead and do that off screen. That's, that's just America. I love American imperialism. It sounds like such a great thing, but not for the game right now, man. Not for the game. Yes. Oh, it's 56. Did you know it's 56? I didn't know that. Huh. Everyone train if you need to. Um, are we suffering anything like supply issues? No. We're actually doing okay. Which is kind of surprising since we're over here, but whatever. How is the economy doing? Oh, we're still doing that stuff? Don't worry about that. Thank you very much. Colonial rust. Too bad. With the announcement that there are no plans for the institution of self-rule or decolonization by the British government, resentment has built among many of our colonial subjects across the empire. Now, this resentment has boiled over many places with civil disobedience, rioting, and even a few cases of open revolt breaking out. Subjects should know the place. That kind of sucks. Daily political power, recruitable population, stability goes down for 100 days to every colony and colonial decisions. That kind of sucks, I'll be honest. That really sucks. Too bad I am going to go ahead and hire... An agency, the Soviet Isles. I don't. I'm not sure for the Soviets. Not gonna lie, but we're gonna put some resistance down, shall we? Seven hundred days might be a bit too much. Ah, oh, research speed, atomic research. Yes. Um, what are we missing here? Is it support equipment and such? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, we really could use more tanks and such. Oh, that's not good. Not jolly good. Well, we'll see what happens. This is barely going up. And this is kind of middling. I mean, if we have to give it back, we can, but... We will see. <clears throat> ah, the Separatists are not feeling very good, but... You know what? They lost the war. The German Congress begins. A new red state. That's not a really big, continuous red state, though. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look very big. And actually, which way are they going now? Oh, they're going German Politburo. Pretty good. Chairman Talheimer, Milky, Strasser, RFK Coup, and the Children's Parade. Branch to be done. With the help of the Pioneer Panzer Brigade, the FDJ, who had coup Marshal Stoff and got into power. Interesting. Can I pay off more debt? Well, I'll see what this one does next. We'll talk about the Middle East. Containment of Syria. Um, reform the colonies. Cooperation. Lose even more political power. Replace or reinforce the colonies with limited self governance and sure stability. Well, what, what do we have here now? Pacify these guys. Oh, 60% chance unrest reduced, 30% chance unrest changed. Return these guys. Pacify South Africa. With the spending of some political power and the deployment of extra troops and security, we can attempt to reduce the unrest in British Southern African colonies of Northern and Southern Rhodesia and Beijing land. Is that worth it? Well, we got the peepee. -pee. We might as well spend it. Why not? Well, let's ensure some stability. No, let's reform the colonies. The current structures of governments which currently are being used in the colonies are outdated and inflexible in the face of our current challenges. There must be some reform to the internal politics of our colonial possessions. Talheimer elected in Germany. Um, he's an old fighter. So with the revolutionaries in Weimar Republic or Weimar era. Committed to honor Rosa Luxemburg's legacy. Oh boy. And to support. East Africa remains unchanged. West Africa remains unchanged. Unrest, unrest reduced. Our recent moves have been a success. Unrest in southern African colonies have fallen. And Nigeria is un. Well, is Algeria. Honestly, is there really a point to do that? It's already 0%, so maybe we won't do that again. Oh, well, I mean, that's, Af that's Africa. But that's, Bel that's Belgian Africa. You gotta hand it to them. They're probably not very ha uh, happy over there. 
But our guys would never revolt, my friends, right? Right? Um, I do want to get through this branch of the tree probably as fast as possible. We get more political power back, which is nice and all, but... Hmm... Yeah, oh, subs. Very nice. Very good. Uh, Air Doctrine. Was it Casper this? I think it was Casper using, right? How about Havelock? Victoria. Oh my goodness, Victoria. Sign me up. Sure, she can. She is tough. And we like it when they're tough. Um, there you go. Cool. Reform the colonies. And. Well, okay, keep doing that. So the last side is completely done with Mosley. This stuff is done as well. This stuff will get done, but it's not super important to get it done right now. We'll talk about Dunkirk later. The Middle East. I'll do that as a bridge between Europe and Asia. The Middle East holds an immense amount of geopolitical importance. If we are to remain a notable power, we must secure presence in the region. Sure, why not? Eight, uh, can we do... Oh, path test two, yes. Yes. Pacify... Oh, oh, oh I see. So here it is. 40%. So, oh, it's not res resistance like that. Okay, it's, it's stuff like that over there. Okay, that makes more sense now. My bad. I mean, if we have to, I don't mind using violence to put these people down. 40, 40, 40, 20. Independence for Nigeria. I want to say no. I wish we could have kept Ghana. Uh, re unrest reduced? Good. Reduced. Unchanged. And reduced. 20, 20, 20, 20. Not bad. Feeling pretty good about it. Um, There's really not a lot we can do here. I'll be honest. There's really not a lot. I don't want to give him independence. I'm trying to keep the gang all together, man. We can talk about the Middle East, though. Hmm. Containment Syria. Control the... I like the oil. A healthy supply of oil is key to the functioning of a modern economy, but we lack such a supply within our own borders. In order to secure it... Oh, there goes Dewey. There's a flow of oil. We must approach some oil-producing states in the Middle East. Probably a pretty good idea to do when we took it. That's a lot of PP every day. We get two PP every single day. Colin Jordan doesn't help us. The Imperial instability doesn't help us. The stability doesn't help us. And the Middle East doesn't help us. But then again, when is the Middle East ever stable? I'll try it again. Unchange. Come on, get at least one. Reduce, good. Twice? Alright, two out of four is not bad. That's about 50%, right? And control the oil. Ah, uh, the Middle East. The Middle East has been for some time one of the most divided and strategically important regions of the world. After the defeat and carving up of the Ottoman Empire, we and the French exercised great control over the strategically vital and oil-rich region. However, new threats to our interests have since appeared. Both the Italians and Germans gaze upon the region with great interest, and radical political movements from within threaten to tear apart the current order. To the detriment of our national interests, another front in the global struggle. But I must leave that episode here for today for right now. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, tell me how much you love or do not like the Cypress. And I will see you tomorrow, as we will continue living in a period. And have a good time trying to prevent decolonization. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.